Mm-hmm. Love, peace, light, and blessings. So, family, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome on in. My name is Jazz. Make yourself at home. Today, so family, we have a beautiful, special guest. We have the lovely Miss Alba La Panthera joining us for this beautiful full moon and Aquarius energy that we're going to be tapping into today, y'all. First and foremost, this woman humbles me, okay? And I genuinely want to say that me, as one of her soul family members, is completely appreciative and grateful for her gift, for her ancestors, for her connection to the divine, you guys. I'm eager for you guys to be able to experience her the same way that I am blessed to be able to experience her. I love her messages. I love her vibe. I love her energy. I love her spiritual signature, y'all. And I'm going to shut up and I'm actually going to let sis introduce her stuff. <laughs> y'all, y'all need to just book her for intros because I mean, <laughs> listen, all right. So welcome. I love you all. If you don't, if nobody told y'all today, today will be the day that you're going to find out that somebody loves you and that love doesn't have to be the way you've learned it thus far. We already just going into it. My name is Alba La Pantera. I go best by Empress, Goddess, High Priestess, and we're about to all find out why we're about to just tap into that energy because we're all kings and queens we've we've all been that for a long time you see this aquarius energy we in the full moon in aquarius the second one call it a blue moon blue has a lot to do with serenity your voice allowing yourself to speak truth now that truth resides here it's very simple you place your hand on your chest you can feel a rhythm boom 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 it's very simple but that simple rhythm is allowing all of this to circulate then spiral expand and ascend this Aquarius energy is all about change now the Aquarius energy itself wants to change outside of it, but not so much the internal, okay? Now, we know that we have the moon in Aquarius. We are also in Virgo season. So shout out to this lovely goddess Empress, all right? Y'all know her solar return is tomorrow. And she shares a very special day. That's a strong day. Thank you, my love. Because at the same time that that full moon is in Aquarius, it's also in connection to the star Regulus, which talks about time. The time is this. We are time. Not the time that you've been took. That's what's changing. The concept of that is no more about being in or out. It's all about your frequency. Now talking about Aquarius energy and the frequency. That Aquarian energy, which is why you see in the tarot card of the tower, you see that lightning bolt. It's the electricity that runs through you on all four corners that makes you move. The star. It's powerful. It is. Now you see why the dark night of the soul is even much more powerful. Shout out to the Virgos. This is why Virgos are important because the Virgo... Holds. Oh, you feel me? That Virgo is holding that star and that lantern. Mm-hmm. But it's up Standing to you. in the dark. In the dark. Yeah. That's what we do with dark darkness. Parkers. Yeah. Only through the darkness that the light, the truth is revealed. So don't be afraid of your darkness. Come on, sis. You've been taught that darkness is bad, it's wrong. Remember, in and out, bad, good, right and wrong, they're all the same. When we're talking about a frequency, we're looking at cause and effect and still do not involve the right or wrong in that cause and effect because it has no frequency. Come on, sis. Right. 
that cause and effect is all about what you got going on right now with this full moon in Aquarius. Full moons are all about forgiveness. You want to see results? You have to forgive. Now, Aquarius is the world outside of you. Now, we're talking. There's a lot that we want to change in the world outside of us, but Aquarian energy doesn't want to change that within. But listen, let's move back a little bit, though. We got Jupiter, the planet of expansion, the planet of God as we see it, the ninth house Sagittarius energy, is in the sign of Aquarius. So now we <laughs> So now we got the house or the energy, the personality within you, God within you, and the sign of Aquarius. Think about this. We have the planet of Jupiter, God, and the sign of Aquarius. One thing that most ascended masters had issues with was changing the collective, but they had already changed themselves. So this is the energy that, that, that you're seeing now with jazz, a lot of other tarot readers that you are just drawn to because now your soul resonates with it. Your soul is here and it just, with the Aquarian or Uranus, Uranus energy, it allows it to expand and ascend wherever it needs to, because that's also the ability of the thalamus. The thalamus in your brain is this shape. No coincidence in this world. This is literally like in the center of your head. The full moon in Aquarius is basically like, all right, if you forgive, we can fill this up for you. And once we fill this up for you, this new beginning, only the universe knows what you're able to give birth to. Don't allow time, the body to confuse you now, okay? Because we are souls having a human experience at the end of the day. We already experienced one death going through the birth canal. Why are we afraid of it? That's what must die. And that's what the Aquarian age is all about. If you don't die, that means you don't bury, which means there is no resurrection. So, yes. feel me? So now we got this Jupiter energy in Aquarius with the full moon in Aquarius in Virgo season. You got mommy and daddy all over the place taking care of you. While Saturn is in retrograde, so that means big, big daddy, that wrath is taking a nap right now. Mm -hmm. Maybe. For some. Maybe just for, for some. <laughs> because you still got Aquarius, Uranus, which is actually the god of Atlantis. Mm -hmm. Which means the more you are in the sun, the more downloads you're going to receive. Some people have been feeling a little stuck and wanting to stay inside a little bit longer, get outside. Get outside, allow that frequency to give you the nutrients that you need to allow you to rise up. So now I'm gonna go with the angels and ancestors. I'm gonna see what they have to say in relation to like where we just went with this Aquarian energy it's a wonderful, wonderful full moon because blue moons are all about believing in the impossible. Do you know that you're possible? Do you know that you're a God? I have two downloads, goddess. Um, my ancestors tag team yours while you were speaking. The very first download, um, I think that you were uh, you were on to something when you were speaking about the Aquarius energy and the symbolism of the star and how the stars sit in the ether surrounded by triple darkness. Some of you guys who have been placed on a light worker path, meaning you have some type of calling, you've been too busy trying to shine your light in the light. When the fact of the matter is, the only way for your light to be seen is when you go into the shadows. Some of y'all work is being done in the wrong places is the spirit says. Some of the healing that you have the capacity or the capability of dishing out or giving out here is on the other side. That's where you're needed. So I genuinely feel like here for those who have been afraid of the darkness, for those who have been afraid of those changes, those transformations, those deaths, like Miss Alba said, we die every day, y'all. And we mourn it 
every morning, y'all. So we got to get used to it when it's occurring on a regular basis, whether you rename it, whether you oversimplify it, whether you redefine what it means to you, death is natural, death is necessary. So when you find yourself dying on a regular basis to wake up the next day and rebirth yourself, mm -hmm. let's get more comfortable with that energy itself because I genuinely feel like the role of a light worker, the purpose of a light worker, the role of a lot of y'all watching this message right now is to go into these dark places, to go find those, those people who are wounded, to go find those people in need of healing, to go find those people who may be undergoing or going through similar situations that you found yourself about it. That's your job now. That's your calling. That's your purpose. It's not to stay in the light and then wonder why nobody sees it shine. You in the light with it. You shine the brightest when you decide to go into those darker places and still be exactly who you are. Another message that I had here, you guys, um, Miss Alba was touching based on how what were you saying, sis? Damn, you were saying so much good shit. Was it the <laughs> end? Was, it was the very end. No, no, no. It was the very tail end of, I feel like, what you were saying. And it just left me. So I feel like it's going to come back. If I need to. Could it be you know, the Jupiter and the Aquarius energy? It's like. There's one aspect, like the Aquarian energy alone wants to change the world outside. Okay. I know what it was. You were saying our people need to go out in the sun. Mm. The sun is calling us to recharge right now. And my download was the first full moon that we experienced. A lot of y'all started to have sleepless nights consistently. The witching hour had you restless, okay? I'm talking between the hours of 3 and fucking 5 a.m. The collective was up. And it has a lot to do with activation codes that I feel like we were all receiving. This is the peak. So the zero degrees to the 29 degrees, this is the completion. This is the closure. A lot of y'all about to start getting rest again. A lot of y'all are going to start to feel like whatever graduation process, you graduated. You passed the flying colors. The body is somehow activated. I feel like there was some cellular, some DNA activation. Some of you guys were getting pounding headaches. These were sound waves. Yes. Those were sound waves. Yes, you can't hear them, but the ancestors were sending through some song, okay? Oh, I hear drums, y'all. Mm -hmm. The ancestors were sending through songs, y'all. And the songs, yes, you can't hear them, but the spirit catches the sound waves. So when your temples be throbbing and when you get the migraines and you feel the, the pressure, sinus headaches, no, these are DNA upgrades, y'all. The collective with these two full moons have been DNA upgraded because Albert was saying get out into our solar power it's because mm -hmm. that is the completion process of locking in those codes y'all they were sending through songs and I think it was coming through that witching hour so if you found yourself up it's because your spirit was singing with the ass and then you may not understand what you doing or saying but you feel it the body started to feel it you couldn't sleep head pounding you know what I'm saying um Two fakes. Different symptoms for different people, but yeah. I definitely felt that. My okay. love, can I bless our reading and can you yes. tap us in? Yes. Yes. Thank you, God. Thank you, angels. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, ascended masters. Mother God, Father God, I ask that you utilize us as humble vessels. Fill us up with love, light, lessons blessings, guidance, and intuition for ourselves and for our beautiful soul family. I ask that you fill us up until we overflow mentally, spiritually, physically, and emotionally. I shape to our ancestors. I evolve to our lineage and I move to our originals. I'm quiet, you guys. Enjoy. I love that. I love that prayer. Thank Words you, of Lisa. affirmation, gratitude, gratitude. Ooh. Hmm. You have me on the plug. The sun and us, the plug. The magician, 
the Messiah, ancestor. Ooh. The counterpart of the divine feminine, the triple goddess. Message for the collective, full moon and Aquarius, royal star energies of all four corners, divine creator of all, supreme unconditional love. Ooh, the water guardian, connect with your emotions. You want two more. I'm literally shaking now because you can feel the intensity of a crystal butterfly. Butterfly is one thing. Crystal is another. Combining the two, there's nothing but clarity as to where you're going. The only thing that needs to be done right now is to connect with your emotions. Detach from anything that feels addicting, which means that there's a lack of self-control. That ninth pentacle is about self-control. The ninth fruit of labor is self-control for a reason. Without that control, it's almost like the power of the sun. You have the water guardian, connect with your emotions. The wise one, grow within your current situation. You see how my hand is shaking? And these ain't nerves. So I'm not nervous. That's energy. That's energy. The third card, the sun. This card in the middle, the crone, is the embodiment of that great grandmother and above. A lot of us in this generation come from our grandmothers. We have already been here. So a lot that you're changing and you find yourself experiencing, you can't put your finger on it. It's obviously from generations before you. But the inner and overstanding of that knowledge and the power that you're going to generate from that to grow within that current situation, there's going to be a lot of challenges. And you've experienced that quickly within just this one moon cycle in the Aquarian energy. Again, these are the electrical impulses that flow through you. So even if you didn't want to ship something, even if you didn't want to ship that perception, it was changing. So now a lot of those headaches are coming from your brain creating these new ripples and these new waves. You can actually feel it. But now you go to an expert. Let me tell you something else. That's done and over with. unless you allow it to happen. So a lot of you are prototypes in your bloodline. You know Was I the only one that just felt that collective? What the hell? <laughs> Woo. Okay. You see this owl right here? You see her face? A lot of you have a tendency to even appear that way. So this is why people can't even understand you. Stop getting people to understand you. You're not here for that. So that's how you allow yourself to transform or go through the death process. That is, it's supposed to be graceful. It's supposed to be graceful. We come into this earthly realm, this earthly realm, you gotta have a strong backbone. That spinal canal gotta be strong. That's another part of that Uranus energy too. The spinal canal. Connected right here to the Abdullah Ablangada. 
and that baby start bursting everything in your spine starts going. So you see now we got the cold. They just your body's gonna go through a lot of changes. Get rest when you need to, when you want to, not when you need to, when you want to. So another thing is with this Aquarian energy, tapping into astrology and numerology and all these signs, start tapping into your human design. Look up your human design. You know what I mean? Look up your galactic signature. So you can know within that Mayan calendar, those 13 moons, what type of day it is. Is it a day of endlessness or is it a day of timelessness? Galactic signature. So it'll, it'll allow you to see what your occult energy is, what's your challenge, and what your subconscious mind is like. The more you read about yourself, everything is written by someone. Never forget that. Everything is written by someone in their experience. So Jupiter and Aquarius is showing you, okay, you read this. How does that make sense for you? The how, again, belongs to the universe as well. So if you find yourself having a meditative moment, you start asking how and you're getting answers, just know you tapped in. Okay. Because now you're getting divine inspiration. You know what I'm saying? So emotionally detaching yourself from a lot of things that doesn't bring about that divine inspiration. It's time to remove from that. If you're not going to do it, don't worry, it has been done. So if any of you are struggling still, it's because of that. You know what I mean? Even going back to looking at the new moon in Aquarius, that would be as of what, January 20th to about February 18th around there. Look to see what you started then, because there's a completion, a major completion of it now. Shame. They just said we're good. I'm good right now. They want you to tap in. It was like <laughs> that's what it is like. It's a I say to confirm you for me real quick. Cause uh, thank you, my love. I want to build upon her ancestors really quick. So ancestors, may we get a message to build on where her ancestors have tapped us into. We will be using the Starseed Oracle to see if we could dig some little her connection. Ancestors. My mind is just going to have a conversation, sipping some whiskey and some rum with them real quick. We just you know, this is a family affair. Um, we have cracked open, rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life. Wow. If this is not confirmation of what sis was pretty much saying, that electrical current is coming through the flesh. Ain't nobody not feeling this energy. That Aquarius energy, like she explained to us, you guys, it's all about trying to not focus it so much on the external that's why the collective feels cracked open we are forced to change we are forced to die right now we are forced to transform because the wishes is at the top of the list of things to fulfill right now you guys that star energy is calling everybody what have you been doing to block your wishes from coming in this electrical current that we may all be feeling this activation these codes that are coming through I feel like no man is really left behind. Everybody is subjected to this shit where you might really feel like you are forced to move, forced to bend, forced to change, forced to die. Spirit got the collective crack the fuck open. It's time to reveal to yourself what's on the inside of you. That Aquarius energy had you looking outside yourself, but the real reflection is internal, baby. The real reflection is genuinely in the mirror. So here comes that shift, that current that we all feel where we are being projected forward. We are quantum leaping, but it's for the wish fulfillment, y'all. That star energy is all about you going to get with yours. You know what I'm saying? And also healing whatever is standing in the way of that process. 
it's, it's a simultaneous thing that's happening with that star energy. And that's why the card says it's the alchemy of life. What's the point of being an alchemist if we don't know how to take all this shit and make it work for us? I don't want some of it. I don't want to work with a little bit. I want to work with all this shit. If it belonged to my creator, it belonged to me. You hear me? Because that's what's on the inside of all of us. So if it belongs, if these energies belong to the creator, who the fuck are we to think that we're not subjected to experience it if that creator energy is within all of us? That's the alchemy of life. You want to tap in the source, tap into your inner alchemist here. The collective feels cracked open because it's so you can put your money where your mouth is. Let me see what you take, love. Let me see you do it scared. Let me see you unprepared. Let me see that shit. Sometimes spirit wants to see what's on the inside of us because we don't even know until we're forced to reveal it. Here comes the current. Let me see that shit. Reveal it to me. Open yourself up. Some of y'all are being forced to show us what's really good. Some of y'all have been hiding from your inner, most truest selves. And that ain't fair to spirit. Uh. That's not fair to fucking spirit, you guys. Your spirit, my spirit, our spirit. It's not fair to dim your light. It's really not. It's selfish is what it is. Because our gifts are really not for us, y'all. It's, it's, it's for each other. Yeah. And that's why it is a burden sometimes, or it may feel like a burden to be gifted because we don't realize that the gift is freeing others. You free yourself when you free others. So crack yourself open here, collective. I feel like we are being encouraged to just surrender to whatever changes are naturally coming and not fight that shit no more. This is genuinely an energy about flowing, not forcing, going with these flows, these ebbs and these flows. No matter how they're being presented or thrown at you right now, I just feel like the universe knows you better than you know yourself. <sighs> Because that piece of the universe that's infinite is literally inside of us. So every time we have a limited belief system or a limited mindset, you guys, the universe is fucking disrespected. Let's be real. Our ancestors be disrespected. <laughs> Let's be real. Because sometimes we don't know what's on the inside of us. No, so mm -hmm. our limiting beliefs is disrespectful to the spirit realm. And that's why the spirit realm is showing its 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 disrespect. It's it's cracking you open at this point. It's just like I'm I'm show me what you got so you can show you what you got. Since if you don't mind, I would quickly like to just get this out the book. Really, really, really quick. I feel like it's a beautiful message in here. Okay. Was I love the fact that you have that one? That's literally the other deck I have right next to. Is right here. So what I'll do, I'm gonna pull out Ancestor of the Angels, and that'll be my next clarifier. <laughs> and that's how we do that there. <laughs> so it says, don't let the weight and density of the world squash your tender spirit. Instead, let it call even more of it home into your body at the center front of your life. It is through the extreme pressure of life's trials that diamonds are cultivated. It's when things are at their darkest that we cultivate proper faith and our light is ignited. It's through the crumbling that we can allow our wounds to be alchemized. Let your pain, sorrow, and losses make you, not break you. Let life alchemize your tragedies into gold. Be open to being cracked open, wide open. It is the difficult times that help us grow in leaps and bounds and in ways we could only dream were possible. But first, they have to crack us open. Sometimes it hurts like hell, but it's nature's way. Whether you let it happen or not, it's going to happen. So surrender to the process. It's how the light gets in. When your heart cracks open, a space is created for your soul to more fully enter. When your soul cracks open, a space is created for the grace of the Holy Spirit to enter. Let your trials, your sorrows, your pains, and your losses transform you into more and more of yourself. That is very beautiful here, collective. And I want to allow wow. my album, Beautiful Ancestors, to dig a little deeper. So, this, this is one of those um, Aquarian transmission energies that's flowing through now. 
there were two words that you mentioned, and this is part of the collective that's being shifted. Those two words are trying and selfish. This is how we're gonna get cracked open. If we look at those two words, okay. Now, anytime you use ish, it means something like self, something like self. It's more so like, there have been a lot of um, ideals that have been passed down to us that we have allowed ourselves to pick up the programming. The experience allows it to grow kind of like the heat that's around the egg, allowing it to hatch. So anytime you find yourself being selfish, allow yourself to be. Don't ignore that energy because that's part of that triple goddess energy as well. You have to be, because sometimes that same strength that you want to give off to somebody can be detrimental. You know what I mean? It's, it's one of those things where, yeah, we are playing chess. And how do we play that game? <clears throat> the truth is, we're no longer trying to do anything as long as we're doing it. If we're trying, it's we're still telling the universe, we're still planning. We're still planning. But if you're still planning and doing, now the universe is like, how do I give them the next? Because it's almost like a quarterback can't see the wide receiver. Preach. You feel me? Young niggas. Like, no, <laughs> Because think about it, you're like, not even feel it. That's another thing that your human design is going to show you. When you look at that human design, you need to see what your authority is when it comes to how you're designed. Every piece of technology is designed off a human. That's why it's so convenient. So what's being cracked open? Us realizing that we that whole motherboard put your foot on the ground, that's the plug. That's all it takes and breathe. You know something has life because there's air, there's a breath to it. The water bearer, air and water, there needs to be a connection between the two. So something has to be bust wide open. Feel me? That wand and that ground the creation of this new world, the utopia. We really supposed to be out here in this bohemian lifestyle, being gods, not living like being gods and goddesses. So a lot of words have to shift. Fuck it, we gonna do it. Yeah. If that means that this is how my life gets to, oh, really? Okay, heaven on earth, let's go, let's do it. Heaven on earth, that's literally the Aquarian age. That's, it's been that, it's, it's, we left the age of Pisces, the age of believing, faith believing. Now it's time to have faith and know. Feel me? It's like everything, say Anthony Padua was doing, Galileo, all of them, they, they, they was, they was, they was doing all of this. So the, the, those could be certain texts that you look into. St. John the Baptist, you realize that's so soon. Every story, has been pulled from a specific energy and made into one or separated. Now we need to bring it back to that bring home. It home. Bring it home. That law of one. That thalamus that's sitting right here. That sounded like a whole bell in the back. Like a church bell. Mm. A loud one too on a tower, like a tower belt. I think they've been making music, the ancestors. That, I've downloaded it. I feel like they've been making music, sis. I don't know what it is. I feel like chosen ones will pick up on it 
but it's not a sound. So it's not going to be clear audience. It's almost going to be like clear sentiment. The body is going to feel the music that's yeah. being made. It's like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You hear a bell, I heard drum. So it's like, what, what are they doing? They making music. It's a ceremony. It is. It really yeah. is. They're all sitting around right now. Mm. And gratitude. Because we're choosing to move beyond patterns, but at the same time, honor where we come from. Never leaving that behind. Never. Ever. Oh, nigga. Oh, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Nigga. <laughs> Preach. Okay. I'm just saying. I'm just that, that, that was that was when I was here two days like you y'all would take them to church but church the way it was supposed to be where people ceremony. can feel the temple the ceremony the ceremony is is the people the ceremony can't happen without the people the ceremony doesn't put praise on the energy or the deity the mm. ceremony is the gathering of the people every time we come here in numbers we watch each other, we support each other in numbers. We go into ceremony for spirit. We are honoring each other's spirit. We're giving each other's spirit our flowers. So y'all already know, y'all scared, go to church. But here we have ceremony. We come together. And not only do we praise, not only do we worship, not only do we pray, but we give it up every single way to the most high. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. And and that's that that message is here for anybody who may be new or anybody who may need an understanding of what it is that we do. That's just how we give it up for the most high. Prior to this reading, we both tapped in in our own ways, whether you dance, whether you sing, whether you chant, whether you shout, whether you just speak in your head, y'all. We all got our own ways that we crack ourselves open to go ahead and tap the fuck in. You know what I'm saying? Because we all have the same source to tap into. But it's beautiful to watch us get together and gather and, 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 and conjoin these, these fucking ways and see how we tap in. So when you look at people who come from her island, when you look at people who come from my island, and when you see how we call down energies at will, it's because it's that we understand it's the gathering of the people versus the tabernacle being gathered in. We understand that it's the energies that reside within us that have dominion and domain over everything around us that allows us to invoke and to transcend and to leave and come back. Like belief is powerful here, you guys. And I feel like what sis tapped into about cracking open our beliefs. Why do we tell ourselves that we try when we could do? Why y'all? Little things like that. Why do we wait for somebody to come save us when we could go knock at the fucking door if we really want to? Why? Who's telling us these, these things? And how do we break it open? How do we tap in and tap out at will? You know what I'm saying? How do we call in the belief systems that don't limit us and hinder us from our wish fulfillment with this full moon and Aquarius? We purge and all that shit. It's time for all that shit to go, honestly speaking. So where we come from, and if you wonder why our readings are are built different, it's because our ancestors' belief systems were less limiting. You know what I'm saying? And we are open to an abundance of infinite information to deliver to you guys through our unique way of ceremony. Mm. That's for the newbies. Right. <laughs> That's for the newbies. <laughs> I'm just myself, like I'm just listening and I'm picking it up from the viewer's perspective, even. And you can just sense like the healing that's shifting within each word. It almost feels like um, they know this is what's going to heal them, but they are afraid to go. It's almost like having to go to the doctor's visit because I could smell like a hospital sort of too. And you know, when people get that white coat syndrome when they're getting their blood pressure tested or checked. It's listening that's allowing them to remove that syndrome of where they're at, the illusion, all that light, being blinded by all that light. 
to remove that coat, to remove that mask and check the pressure finally. Mm-hmm. And in checking that pressure is when that pressure starts to show you a lot of different things. Rest is very important. Get that water up, that water intake up. Because it's almost as if you're creating this wonderful barrier of water around you. So therefore it must be within you. So having to harness your emotions is very important. Harnessing the emotions taps you into speaking from the intuition, which now shows you that your throat is active. The throat chakra is active. The sacral is active. You know what I mean? Because if this is if it, if this isn't active, you cannot hear the voice, the soul speak to connect to the crown. So if you need to activate the throat, hold on to your throat as you speak and feel that vibration. At least we channel that all over again. This is what it sounds like. This is what it sounds like within you, not outside of you. Humming and mm, singing, get a playlist and sing songs and make sure the last three songs are songs that bring you joy. Because a lot of you are uh, tied up here, almost like that hangman energy. Getting a different perspective but don't allow the different perspective to put you in a space of fear because a lot's going to be revealed. A lot has to be revealed to destroy, to renew. And that's, that was just a download. Girl, we here. We here for it all. (laughs) We're here for it all. (laughs) I'm about to grab a sacred spirit energy card and see what we got. Ground your light, number 18. Just as we were talking, the head, the root, and the heart chakra. So for a lot of you, what I just saw just now, there's a movie reel that's happening for a lot of people when it comes to the root chakra. Partnerships. We're almost, we're, we just started Virgo season, but as we get closer to that Libra season of the new romantic cycles, you're getting like this replay of the root area, your sexual area, the area of creation. Connecting that to your emotions. Being easy on yourself. Some people may feel as though it's more so having to tap into self and being authentic about your own information and as you receive it. Because it seems like there's a lot of people receiving so much and the root isn't able to expand. That Kundalini energy isn't able to expand because there's something else covering them. They're not grounded. So that sun information that we had earlier is crucial. For and that for, plug, yeah. remember the flip to the earth. Yeah. Like she said, that's your plug right there. Because it says, let your soul shine. And I almost feel like, because that bell sounded like a warning. And then as you were speaking not too long ago, it sounded like an anchor. So what are you anchored to? What is what is the faith that you're anchored to? Is it specific or is it the bigger picture? And that's what it feels like. The balance of the scales is right now. Are you seeing just the detail? Or are you seeing the bigger picture? Do you have both? So if you have both, now you're more receptive to receiving more rather than being here. Because at some point, one of them, you're going to have to let go. Because you're not in, you're not going to be able to endure the strength that is required for you to hold on to both. So in order to receive that strength and that courage that's required, it's very simple. Get into the sun. 
you're receiving downloads to upload them, you have to get grounded in nature. It's very simple right now. Just get in nature for right now. Even if it's raining, cleanse yourself in the rain. Because mm -hmm. a lot of these downloads are, are intense. They are. They really are. It's a renewal of your mind. It's a renewal of your soul. You only hear about this in certain texts and not to the fullest of the extent that you're supposed to know it. But if you read the Bible from Revelations on to the book of Genesis, you'll see exactly what's happening to you. Destroy to rebuild. You're basically going back to that energy of you being synovial fluid before you were a physical form. So it feels weird. It's like you're, you're, you're gooey almost. But it's until you reach Mars, the use and action of your will. Will is Leo energy, which is the polar opposite of Aquarius. So now Mars is going to ask you, okay, how are you going to use your willpower, what you know? Leo, I will. Aquarius, I know. How are you going to use those two? Because when it's time to go to war or to handle a situation, you have to use the action of your will your creativity, your solar plexus, your gut instinct, that animal instinct. So now we're going into what are we feeding ourselves? Verbally, nutrition, visually. Okay. Physically, who y'all sharing y'all bodies with? That kundalini energy. It can make you or break you. It can crack you all the way open and tap you in, or it can really break you down and, and take you 10 steps back. I don't know why I felt that. A lot of yeah. people in this collective are going to realize how sexual energy affects the body, the human experience, yeah. the navigation process, the energy levels, the aura, the spirit. And I feel like a lot of y'all about to chew more wisely going forward after what's being revealed to you. Yeah. It almost feels like, too, like that's exactly what's breaking down. It's not so much their own, it's their energy and probably the last 10 years. So within that, you can see how much strength one you do have because the breakdown process is quite strong. So you you were strong enough to even hold hold on to it, right? So it's not that you ain't got no strength or the curve. You have it because you 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 chose to take that path, that Saturn path of that challenge to gain the wisdom to grow within the current situation. Because what this owl is all about. If you want to eat, you got to listen to the vibration of the heart. That's the only way this owl can eat on top of that. Yes. If owl wants to eat, it needs to listen to the heartbeat of whatever it is that it's going after because it's under snow. So it's like grounding that light, being easy on yourself as you feel the vibration because some of you can actually feel yourself pulling out them three swords. The sooner the better. Because there's nothing but success and happiness coming forth. Hmm. Sometimes you just need to sit still in your own darkness. Sit still in your own darkness. You see how strong you are. Just sit in there for a bit. Take as long as you need to. Remember, this is time. And if we're thinking of Regulus, that star that's connected to this full moon's energy, we're looking at the Sphinx right now. Fourth dynasty. Four has a lot to do with the I am that I am, the emperor within you, your persona, your life force, the grandmother energy. Have an important task. 
and it's a task that it's 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 important because it's bigger than us. We don't want to be in that realm. And that may not be the lifetime that we can come back down here the way we physically are now and physically speak to people. So it's important to prepare that foundation of all energies that allows you to ascend and expand, even the ones that take you through darkness so you can see the true gem of this world. No, I'm not. Sorry. Yo, it's, 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 you don't want to be up there and really wanting to, because think about a lot of our ancestors are able to connect to us. We want to be able to have that gift at some point too, which we already do have. But for some, this was the test to see if you can be given that rite of passage again. Because these next couple ages, You've seen how things have changed in the world from time and time and time and how architecture is getting, everything is changing. So no one's gonna get left behind, but self, if you allow yourself to stay there. You, you said something twice now mm. about matriarch energy, sis. And I did get a download because you have the seer sitting out there right now, right? The sage or the seer? The wise yes. one. Cool. The, yeah, the wise one. The crone. But it's the crone. Yes, it, it's the crone. Um, a lot of you guys are speaking um, a lot of identity-related uh, questions, answers, or whatever the case may be, whether this be answers mm-hmm. related to your lineage, answers related to your family, your DNA, things of that nature. Spirit wants you to know that everything starts in triple darkness. This world and yourself. Everybody comes from the womb. Everybody literally starts off as an X chromosome. And when the rib breaks or the leg breaks, it transcends into the more recessive gene, which is the Y chromosome. If you truly want to know who you are, look to your mother's last name and get the fucking study in that shit. Etymology, origins, all of that stuff. Her last name is your blueprint. Her last name has your birthright. Her last name has your autonomy. And the further back you can go to these matriarchs, maiden names, the more identity of self that you will discover because all of our pain and all of our power lies in the matriarch. So when you kill one woman, Black man or Black woman here, partnership or self, you're healing every single last one of them that has come before us because every single last genotype comes from the E gene. And that E gene is specific to the black woman, the aboriginal black woman. So when we talk about healing ourselves and then healing the collective, let's tap into the womb. When we talk about identity of self and identity of us as a collective, let's get into the identity of the aboriginal African woman. I genuinely feel like anybody struggling with identity needs to really tap into their matriarch's last name. Your pain and your power is going to be there. So get ready to cry and get ready to be liberated at the same damn time. My mother's last name is Saba. When you date back Sabat, we're witches. I come from a long line of them, okay? Medicine women, shamans, healers, whatever resonates best with you. But then when I Go into my grandmother's last name, their doctors, the origin of their name. So what the fuck y'all think I'm here to do with my Saturn being in Pisces, my North Node being in Scorpio, y'all identity? You got to tap into the natal. You got to tap into the maternal. And then you got to really tap into the self. Get to know these, these North Nodes. Get to know these, these, these purposes, these, these paths that need to be taken or have been chosen. Whichever one resonates, right? Mm-hmm. something about the pain and the power lies in the womb we got to get to know our our mother's pain here as well in order to be able yeah. to identify our own because nine times out of ten hurt mm-hmm. mothers are hurt, hurt daughters and hurt fathers are just hurt sons so 
We either repeat the cycles or we reparent ourselves and we doing it for the next generations to come after us. So it's either you do the dirty work or you leave it for them to do. So some of us are going to do the dirty work. Some of us are already doing the dirty work, but some of us have to get cracked open. Some of us have to be forced. Some of us have to get this electric charge, this spark, this flow of energy. This may be motivation, this inspiration to realize that if you don't do the shit now, just like your mother ain't do the shit, just like your grandmother couldn't do the shit possibly. Times have changed, so excuses are going to change. Mm -hmm. But if you don't do the shit now with the opportunities that's been given to us now, then you're going to leave it for somebody else to do, and that ain't fair to them when the time is us, like sis said, and the present is us, like sis said. So the only thing that's important is this now moment. Some of us have been procrastinating with the time. Some of us have been procrastinating with the moment that's been given, the present that's been given. And that's why you're literally laying it thick on your descendants that's coming. Mm. Well, you're doing no diligence to the predecessors that came, you know? So mm. something about the identity was really on the inside of every single last one of us lies in the triple darkness of the aboriginal African woman, that Lucy DNA that was found in West Africa, three something billion years old. Meaning our people, melanated beings, the hue, H-U-E, mans, we been here. This is our land. This here, my nigga, this is all our land. We've been cultivating before cultivation was documented. Documented. We've been doing this shit before it's even been in anybody's sacred temple or anybody's book here. We have Mm -hmm. So when you realize when you tap into something greater than you and bigger than you, it's because it's inside of you and you just can't see the shit. So you, you, you flow. Some of y'all are stuck because you're trying to force it, trying to be logical. But that Aboriginal African woman that we all have on the inside of us that we all tapped into, she just flow. She don't force, baby. She's not logical. She is spiritual. She is everything and all things at the same day. So we got to force ourselves to make it make sense when it don't. We got to right. eliminate the limiting beliefs that stand in the way of us cracking ourselves wide open and getting to know that energy, that E gene, that, that all is and, and all ends with me gene. You know what I'm saying? We got to get to know that, that, that alpha, that omega energy that we all really, really possess here. Clearly we're channeling, sis, and I'm here for this channeling right no, now. Like, real, I just real. feel like... No, for real. I just... <laughs> real talk. Because um, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you speaking from Saturn and Pisces. My North Node is in Pisces in that same degree of Saturn and Pisces. And my Saturn is returning effective tomorrow. And I, I, I feel it. I feel it. I feel I it. I say. I say. Because I you, you... <laughs> The last couple of days, I kept hearing the gift of karma, the gift of karma, the gift of karma, because it almost it does also feel like Saturn wants to change the perception of his return and the life of the human. I'm not here to beat you down. I'm literally here to show you the challenge, but the challenge is the, the resistance that you need that's going to give you strength. That's all that Saturn does. Mm -hmm. That's all it does. Life is happening through us all. It ain't happening to us. The moment we start thinking something is happening to us, we're thinking, therefore, we, we've already lost a lot of the touch from the soul itself because the, the mind is overactive now. It's processing. So the moment the truth starts to get processed, it's almost like it's it's an independent artist versus somebody who signed. Facts. It's a chemical imbalance. That's all it is. Might as well be sitting in a psychiatric ward with the rest of them. Let's be real. The awakening ain't for the faint of heart, best. And if it was easy, why are we the 1%? The world would be doing it. Why are we the one percent? Something obviously ain't easy about the path you've been placed on. If it was easy, everybody would do it. 
usually when it is easy, you find that it's trending. Everybody does it. Interest versus commitment. Hmm. Young nigga. You're zen. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, because some of y'all wake up, live, breathe, and eat this spiritual journey. You hear me? And shout out to y'all because it's not easy. Facts. But some of y'all, and don't shoot the messengers. Y'all know. Spirit has been calling you to try or to stop trying maybe and start doing. Some of y'all have been trying and it just ain't enough because spirit created doers. So trying is mediocre. And I get it when you get to the shadow working phase of this journey, you guys, it's really not easy. You do feel cracked wide open. You do feel unusual. You feel uncomfortable. You feel cognitive dissonance. You don't feel like yourself because you are being introduced to a new self, a different self, a higher self, a better self. So you can stay put or you can experience all of that, you know what I'm saying? Is genuinely polarity to this shit. It's duality to this shit. So, like she said, Saturn's tired of getting a bad rap for y'all shit. And so is the devil. I'ma say that shit. So Facts. is the Facts. devil. Okay. Facts. They both sit that shit. That victim mentality here, that's the purge for real, for real. Your victim mentality may be standing in the way of your wish fulfillment. Your victim mentality may be what needs to be healed in order for you to receive all of the abundance and all of the blessing. But the fact of the matter is, Saturn, Satan, Lucifer, Hades, shit, I don't know. Whatever energies that y'all feel like work against you, whatever enemies you feel like spirit has created to, 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 to stand in your way, don't think it's, it's tired of getting the brunt of your burdens, Burdens created and set by you for you. They taking the fault for it. And I okay. promise you, they minding their business, doing their job. We all got assignments, and that's just what it is. So I think Sis made a great point. Saturn is ready to be seen. Not for its story or others' opinions or perce perceptions, but for how it's been showing up in your life. Every time you receive karma, no matter which polarity you receive of it, how does it catapult you? How does it move you? How does it work for you? How does it work with you? These are the, I think, over or the bigger questions that need to be asked. Saturn is not he against you. He's with you, believe it or not. That's granddaddy energy. And sometimes granddaddy will bend you to fuck over his knee, Okay. Sometimes he will. How many of us grew up getting, getting a little tap tap or real ass whooping? Let's be real. You ain't think nothing of it. You ain't think granddaddy hated you. Hell no. Nah. You still made him a plate at the cookout. Let's be real. So we got to treat Saturn with a little more grace and compassion and respect for the job that has been given amongst the collective. If you don't like where you are right now, currently collective, the fact of the matter is you have the opportunity and maybe even the obligation to change that shit. Right. It might be for you and everybody that came before you and everybody coming after you to change that shit. That just might be the chosen ones. Pet, you know what I'm saying? But we can't sit here and be mad at what Saturn dishes out. It's just like a fucking, it's like a, it's like a, a garbage disposal. You're going to put everything in that bitch and it's just going to grind it up and get it right back to you. That's it. And that's it. It's not telling you what to put in there. It's not give, taking out one thing and, and preferring another. It's going to take everything you given, and it's just on. Grind it up, and whatever you get as a result of what you gave, you stuck with that. And collective, we got we to gotta pay attention to the fact that every decision that we made, we got to deal with it. Yep. It ain't his fault, her fault. It ain't God's fault. It ain't Satan's fault. It's, we got to deal with that. We got to be okay with that. We got to live with that. And then work with that. You know yep. what I'm saying? Yep. And handle it. It's, it's really like, for instance, Nike. Nike's one of Styx's daughters. Styx is basically the energy of transformation or the death card. Everywhere you see Nike, it says, just do it. 
You don't say try to do it. So every time y'all see a Nike symbol, whatever it is that you desire to do, whenever you see Nike anywhere or a check symbol, you see that often. Mm -hmm. You do. do something about your purpose. That's smart. Every time you see that, because it's all about whatever you want, it's up to you to make it happen. The universe don't, doesn't have a sense of humor. It's just pure love. It's just, it's just pure energy that shifts, connects to create constantly. It's a constant move. Nature does that all the time. We as humans have decided to not let our leaves fall. When they fall, they're going to grow back. Mm -hmm. But they'll grow back stronger, better, brighter, healthier. You know what I'm saying? But we got to let the old go and allow ourselves to be renewed. If not, this ain't the age for that type of struggle. I'm going to just say that. Not in the Aquarian age. Pisces, you got a little bit more leeway because belief allows you to now figure things out. It allows you to feel for a little bit longer. Knowing it's like, all right, what's one plus one? Okay. Now that can change in so many different ways, but it's cause and effect with this Aquarius mm -hmm. energy. So use everything that you believe in and not so much narrow it down, but know it. Know what you believe in. Don't let nobody deter you from that path. And the only way that happens is if you get if you're sitting here wanting people to understand you. No one's here to understand you but self. Because when you go to the store to buy yourself a pair of shoes, you're going to buy your size. You're not going to buy a size too small or too big. So when you know who you are and these other people know who they are, people don't got to explain themselves. The energy just mesh. And the frequency <laughs> creates a symphony. Now we got vibrations. So if there ain't no vibrations, stalemate, think about it. If you got to think about it, that you already know where we at. You, you're more closer to walking out the door, walking away than actually staying there because your gut instinct is kind of off. Because now we're processing it to bring it back to the core. Now, once it gets back to the core, allow yourself to respond from that space and handle everything that needs to be handled in your life and keep ascending. And the way to continue to do that, understand you and love you because those people who don't get you right now they'll they'll find a way it's 12 12 they'll they'll figure it out mm -hmm. they'll figure it out but you keep going on your path because for them you're the you're the outlet they don't have to plug back into you and that's 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 the that's why this journey ain't for everybody because it comes with great responsibility you have so much power. It's like you have so much power to do whatever you want. You can cause greatness or you can cause havoc for self or others. So knowing why you're doing stuff and knowing that a process is always involved. Patience, temperance. That's the, the alchemist is right there is in temperance. Allowing, allowing the ingredients to, to, to mix up the way they, they want to when they're ready. When the molecules are ready and the energy is sitting right where it, it fits perfectly for it to shift in its own dimension. It will. You'll feel it. Alignment. you feel mm. it. Because everything around you is going to look clearer. Much clearer. And most of this is going to happen through the valley, though. <laughs> you have to be willing to walk through that valley. Because the valley creates the story. It creates your story. Not the history. Your story. Your mystery. Your emotions. The story from your own water. That's on, that's a watch that I have that I can't turn off. And it always beeps on 14. Wow. That's dope. <laughs> well, that's dope. That's dope, though. It's always, like, when I look at stuff like that, like the ancestors, that's how they come through. Yes. That's how they come through. 
Yes. I mean, they're reading, they'll get to playing with the music, they'll get to doing little things, especially lately in the age of Aquarius. I will honestly say I've noticed that people who are tapped into the ancestors, they use technology. Yes. To mess to, to like <laughs> Yes. 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 They use technology. So the ancestors, that music that they create, they lit right now because they have an easier way to connect. Ceremony. Why do I feel like, sis, I know we're going to connect on that message a little deeper. Maybe we'll give that download to the collective. But I feel like our ancestors is lit in ceremony right now. I smell rum. I smell clarin, which is a very strong moonshine like a liquor used in ceremony processes you guys i smell the charcoal the shabon the 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 uh fire the uh the bois pan which is the palo santos i smell all this shit and it's just like i feel like i'm there i just feel like i'm there i don't know why you guys i just feel like either the ancestors are celebrating something that the collective has successfully done they're proud they're happy but they're communing and i feel like every time they get or gather us together like that we're like showing the same thing physically this is the ceremony this is the communion yes. that they're having on the other side that i feel honestly she's hearing stuff i'm hearing stuff we feel the stuff. Whole entire ocean it smells like when you come out uh, into the airport into the caribbean and the first thing that hits you is the smell of the water girl it's like new it's like it's like serenity <laughs> Yeah. guys i know we have kept you guys and i know we channeled majority of the time but that's what happens when you have a gift versus when you're a reader and that's no disrespect to the readers out there right. you gotta start where you can or get in wherever you fit in but me and my sister and genuinely have gifts that have been handed down from our ancestors um and there are several different types of the gifts that we share whether it be channeling mediumship intercessing um reading divination it's so many different things that we could do for you today spirit decided to use our intuition and our mm -hmm. so we did pull cracked open and we pulled the wise one we pulled the sun and we also pulled the water guardian for um some her ancestors i hope that these energies mm -hmm. that we pulled were able to resonate with y'all intuition and i also hope that our messages that we pulled was able to resonate, that we called in, I was say, was able to resonate with God intuition. This was beautiful, my love. I yes. thank Alba so much for sharing her love, her time, her ancestors, her energy with us here, Soul Family. Mm -hmm. Alba's page is linked in the title, title of this video. Alba's page is linked in the description box of this video. And Alba's page will also be linked in a pinned comment in the comments of this video. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment to the both of our channels, you guys. Please go ahead and check her out. I will honestly say, Instagram is the place to be for her, you guys. She is yes. very active and proactive on Instagram. She goes live on Instagram. She posts regularly on Instagram. You can get a whole abundance of different categories of readings, whether it be astrology based, general based, ancestral based. She just does her mostly on Instagram, but you guys do have the opportunity to follow her on both platforms, you guys. Mm -hmm. We love you guys. This is not going to be the last time that y'all see the both of us coming together for you guys. So I want to give Alba an opportunity to just speak, honey. I am so honored and grateful to even share this space with you because even as I opened up to doing this in the open, she was one of the first ones. So was Queen Cup. It, it was just certain energies that you can trust. Just trust yourself. Trust your instinct. Trust your heart. Literally, as she said, they wanted us to just channel because I have a deck up here that literally fell on the ground. Oh, wow. <laughs> and the two cards that I'm looking at, it says Ascended Masters Create Open Communication and Astral Travel. And it's like... It's literally just paying attention to you, honoring mm -hmm. you, knowing you is the key to this life right now. And like I said, I, I thank you. I am grateful for you. Keep doing what you're doing. You're fucking amazing. I love you. And we've been here before. Like I'm, I'm pretty sure, some way, somehow, 
We'll talk about that. I already know. Cause it, it, yeah, I'm going to tell you what it is. I already know what it is. The, ho- the gag is, in 1804, me and I was like, no. <laughs> was sitting there making my marijuana or whatever. No plan. <laughs> We was on the boat, and then we seen Master, and what ha- happened was, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was like, yo, sis, I'm going to tell him something, because, A, he thought, but they thought, that we, we, we you know. We came up with a game plan, you know what I'm saying? We got memories, we got fond memories, we go way back. That's what happened. The gag is. <laughs> y'all, we love y'all. So, 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 so much. So, family, like I said, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Check her out on Instagram. All that info is down below. Check out the spiritual shop for all personal readings for myself. Information is in the description box for all personal readings to Miss Alba. Email only. Email is located on her YouTube. Email is 